everybody. This is Billy with Rolling In Excavation. In today's video, I will be showing you how we move a tiny house or cabin to our land here in East Texas. A lot of you may wonder what it takes to move a building, so I thought we would take you along with us. We didn't want to have to remove any trees to get the cabin onto our land. So I decided to clip and move the barbed wire fence down here by our lake so the semi-truck could have a clear path up to where we are wanting to place our cabin. That's what I'm doing right here. The only problem is that he will have to make it up a big hill in his truck. So we will have to see how it goes. I am unloading cinder blocks from the trailer because we are wanting to use them to set the cabin on. The center blocks will help level out the cabin, which you will see here in a few minutes, and they will keep the cabin from sitting on the ground where the wood along the bottom could eventually start to rot. These marks on the ground are where we use spray paint to map out where we would like the cabin to sit when it is delivered, overlooking the beautiful landscape and lake. We have no electricity or running water available, so our cabin is going to be totally off-grid. As you can see, we are surrounded by raw land on every side. The beauty of this land is amazing. We are setting so high up that we can almost touch the clouds floating by. The peace we feel here and the incredible view is a perfect escape from our everyday busy lives. So don't forget to subscribe and see how we renovate the cabin. This is the tiny house or cabin or whatever you want to call it. My father-in-law and I built it together about 10 years ago. It has been sitting here unused, so we decided to take it to our land and enjoy it instead of building a new cabin. It was a lot cheaper to have it moved than it would have been to build a cabin. The cabin is 14 foot by 16 foot. We had to install skids underneath the cabin. A skid is a beam that runs from one end to the other under a building to support the structure during the move and also allows the structure to slide upon the trailer for transportation. Right now he is under the building moving the blocks so he can slide the trailer further underneath the cabin with no obstructions.
He is moving the cabin onto level ground where he can slide it further up on the trailer for a better balance and safe transportation. They are strapping the cabin down so that it will not bounce off the trailer during the move. He is measuring the cabin to make sure it is legally transportable, but he did call ahead and get a permit for transportation. This wall's nest and its inhabitants rode the entire way to our land. We made it. They are now fixing to head up the hill with a side slope, so he has to be very mindful that the cabin could fall off and tip over. For a moment his wheels were spinning and he was a little doubtful that he could make it.
He made it up the hill, so it is smooth sailing now. There she is. She made it to the land without a hitch. It was pretty incredible to see them drop her down exactly on the marks we had laid out. Watch as they centered the cabin up perfectly. Couldn't have been any better than that. Right here they are leveling the cabin and putting the cinder blocks underneath. There's the wall steps fully intact. <laughs> we were all surprised to see them still hanging on. I was very impressed with their ability and knowledge. They were very prepared and equipped for the move. Making it up the hill was also impressive. I would definitely hire them again and recommend them to anyone. Well, here it is, you guys. Now the work begins. Yep. We gotta get 
put a floor in and we got a little mold issue going on. Uh, I saw like a hole in the roof, Billy. You need to check it out because it's right over where that is. Okay. So we're gonna have to do right. some sheetrock work. Hopefully that'll be the only piece we have to, I don't Oh, I hope. I know. Well, everybody, that's how you move a tiny house. Have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video.